Words are the tools we use to paint the pictures of our lives. And the city of Albany has a lot of stories to tell. People have been gathering to tell those stories for over 30 years. There is a hidden underground community of poets and literary lyricism just waiting for the denizens of Albany to uncover. Like the published poets and authors that come to the College of St. Rose for the Frequency North reading series. Pavarotti is dead, and the streets are full of arias, my father. Every window a tenor leaves. There are sopranos in the olive branches. And all across the globe, the world turns to crescendos. Along Parade Street, the day passes. Frequency North you know, started as a reading series that we, we, we need to have like a regular reading series here, I, would, I contend. And, and I, I think we should have even more readings on campus. I mean, this is a college of 5,000 people. We should have events every night. So I'm, I'm of the mind that there should be events every night and uh, multiple choices, all that sort of stuff. So that's, that's my, one of my you know, core beliefs. There are also local poets speaking their piece at the Third Thursday Poetry Night. I wrote this poem for both my sons. It's called The Beauty of Fatherhood. You brought a new peace into my life, the only one that can make you the night. In your eyes I see innocence, your expression of intelligence? I'm not perfect, but I'll try for you. To better your life, I'll strive to do. Your smile upon the fist deep in my heart, with the smile I give back will never be apart. Know that despite my mistakes, my words are true, and that Daddy would give his soul up for you. You can also find word warriors competing for cash and bragging rights at the Nitty Gritty Slam. The only shots that teens should take come from peer pressure and parties. The only thing that should expel from limitless potential frames is vomit from trying to prove to their friends they could take one more shot. Choking on a shot should come from alcohol burn, not hot lead. Nitty Gritty Slam is the first uh, poetry uh, slam incorporated uh, sanctioned slam ever in Albany. Uh, it's the first slam in Albany in over 10 years. So I guess we're in our third year now. And um, so it happens on the first and third Tuesdays of the month. It used to be at Valentine's, which is about to get bulldozed, but now it's at a club called The Low Beat. The, the Nitty Gritty Slam started with uh, three local poets, um, Dane Bramage, Mojave, and St. Rose's Daniel Nestor. Um, they started it um, in 2011, 2012, um, no, 2011, I'm sorry. And, uh, you know, it was a great, you know, getting different groups um, of poets and community members together. This community all started 30 years ago with just a few simple open mics. About 1984, a fellow by the name of Tom Nattel started this event called the Readings Against the End of the World. And it was a 24-hour annual event usually held around Earth Day. So around... 88, he started doing poetry readings at the QE2. The QE2 was a punk rock club in Albany on Central Avenue where the fuse box is now. But in the meantime, in that gap of time, 11, 12 years or so, that he was running this open mic at the QE2, other people began to realize that, oh, maybe I'll do an open mic someplace. Lots of other poetry uh, readings and venues came along. A fellow named uh, R.M. Engelhart was running a, a number of different series throughout the city at various times, at Valentine's, at, uh, at the old Lionheart, which is where Bombers is now, at the UAG Gallery, places like that. Uh, did something called, uh, now called Albany Word Fest. I like to say when I grew up, when I was in high school here, there were no poetry readings, you know, no bagels. Now, in Albany, there are plenty of them. We are a secret, and we need, I, I would love if more people knew about what we were doing. We have, we get people, new folks coming out all the time and saying, I had no idea this was here. I had no idea this poetry was happening. And it's like, we, we, we think that everyone knows. And then when we look at it in reality, we're like, well, wait a second, not everyone knows. So like, just spreading the word and letting people know that this is here, it's been here, and we're not going anywhere.